World of Warcraft programming is the backbone of the game. Without that, the game itself wouldn't even function. To give you guys an idea of how we make it all happen, we're going to talk to some of the team's software engineers. What I do here at Blizzard, I spend about half my time trying to keep the servers up and running smoothly. Um, there's always crazy issues that pop up that need to be figured out. How do you suddenly, having played the game and thought a lot about how the combat systems work, and as a player, you know, all these things like, oh, my heal works this way, and my melee spells work that way, and all this stuff, and suddenly, well, now they really work this way, and they really work that way, because I'm actually looking at the code and going, oh, that's what they do. That's how the data's built, you know, obviously, uh, as an engineer, I thought, well, if I wanted to build WoW, how would I do it? And of course, I was completely wrong. We were trying to finish a dungeon in a couple of raid nights. Like, we only had two nights a week to raid with the raid group that I raid with, and that wasn't really enough time to finish the dungeon. So I started asking myself, you know, why do people have to finish a dungeon in just one week? Why can't we let people finish a dungeon over two weeks instead? And so I ended up talking to Zion about that, and... Um, and, event, and they thought it was a good idea, and eventually got that into the game. Well, one of the things that does sometimes get in the way is that balance. And every now and then, the player in me sometimes speaks a little too loudly. We'll say it that way. So sometimes uh, we see some changes coming for, like, classes. And I go, wait, you can't do that. That would completely break the class. And of course, it's not going to completely break the class. But fear change, <laughs> you know. We really, like, we, we get so, we, we invest ourselves so heavily in our characters in the game that you know, we, we really resist changes, and every now and then I fall subject to that, you know, passionate. Every time I add a feature, I personally go on the forums and read almost everything I possibly can about um, the feature I just added. Even if I didn't design the feature, I would go up there and read. You have to don the flame retardant suit every now and then. Um, there's always useful discussion. Even when there's lots of trollers and lots of flames, somebody somewhere has usually got something worth saying. So a while back, I was leveling up an alt with my family. There were four of us. When we went to do a dungeon, we'd need a fifth person. We ended up trying to use LFG, but we'd almost never find anybody. So when Design wanted to overhaul the LFG system, I asked if I could work on that. They wanted to increase the number of players in the matchmaking pool by having everybody on an entire battle group be able to play together. I spent the next couple of weeks revising my algorithm and I finally got something that was reasonably close. It's really nice to be able to iterate on things like that even after the patch has gone live. World of Warcraft is such a big game. There's so much in it that I can actually put on the player hat and still play the game. I'm not as, I mean, yeah, of course, when things go wrong, yeah, what's the heck's going on here? I see some bad visual, yeah, I make a note of it, I send myself an email. Of course I do, it's inevitable, but it's still, I can, I can really, I can just keep the player hat on and have a lot of fun with it. And it's just, it's amazing. Here at Blizzard, we're very excited about the upcoming release of Cataclysm and what it means for the Warcraft universe. Over the past several years, players have experienced some of the biggest moments in the history of Warcraft. From fighting the Burning Legion in Outland, to battling the Lich King in Northrend. Now they'll be asked to save the world of Azeroth itself from complete destruction. So if you're up for the challenge, a new and fully transformed World of Warcraft awaits you, and I'll see you online.